Did Saquon prove he's the best running back in the NFL? And there's a lot of good ones. The answer is yes. And if you put everyone on a lie detector test, they'd all agree with me. This is not an issue of degree. It's an issue of kind. Saquon Barkley is the only kind of guy like him. Apologies to Todd Gurley and Ezekiel Elliott and everyone else. Think about when they were in college. Gurley was above Ezekiel Elliott by a little bit. He got hurt, and so that knocked him down in his draft. Mm -hmm. But he was the best running back prospect in a long time. And then Ezekiel Elliott. Neither one was the prospect Saquon Barkley is. Mm -hmm. Even if they have his speed, they don't have his strength. And as well as Gurley catches it, did you see the catch that Saquon Barkley made yesterday? No other running back makes that catch. He also carries himself like a franchise quarterback. But just the eyeball test, he is talented in a way no one else is, which is why he's second in total yards from scrimmage this year in the NFL, fourth in total TDs, 6.1 yards per touch, second among running backs. Now, he's still going to learn how to block better. That's true. He, there, Gurley is a more complete back at this point, but imagine putting Saquon Barkley behind the line, and well, the, the Rams line or the Cowboys line. He is better than those guys, and you know it when you look at him, behind a bad offensive line, a bad offensive line, and a bad quarterback. Give him Jared Goff in that line. Give him the Cowboys line. It, I'm just telling you, it's not an issue of degree. It's an issue of kind. Saquon's in a class by himself. Go ahead, uh, I agree, with Max. I mean, there's, there's, it's barely a debate, in my opinion. I mean, when you watch Saquon play football and you watch him carry the ball, half the time he gets the carries, he's getting hit in the backfield, two, three yards behind the line of scrimmage. He's shaking those guys off, and he's creating something out of nothing, which is what he's been doing all year long, all season long, catching the ball out of the backfield. If he wanted to, if they really wanted to, he can have 1,000 yards receiving as well this year mm -hmm. in the last, uh, you know, the last quarter of this season. Mm -hmm. So when you see Saquon play, I think – it's not a head and shoulders above everybody else, but you can see he has that extra gear, that extra factor that Todd Gurley and those other guys don't have. I will concede that he looks better and that from a talent perspective, there is no doubt about that because when I think Saquon Barkley, I think Barry Sanders. And I think somebody buffed that up. was a buffed up. Is that body frame no, or ability both. along with both? Both. Okay. I'm talking about the evasiveness, gotcha. uh, the body frame, uh, getting low center of gravity, mm -hmm. able to sit up there and juke guys, embarrass them, make them look looking all around. I get all of that. But you know what? When Emmitt Smith retired, he was the all-time leading rusher in NFL history. He certainly wasn't somebody that you looked at aesthetically and said, oh, my goodness, he's better than Barry Sanders. Because Emmitt Smith, career 4.2 yards per carry. Barry Sanders, five yards per carry. We saw how Barry Sanders had dudes with their backs turned for crying out loud. They didn't know where the hell he was. That's how bad he was. Mm -hmm. All right? Whereas Emmitt Smith, the running back, hit the hole yeah, and just did what he had to do. What I'm saying to you is when you've got a girly, and you've got an Ezekiel Elliott, and you have them doing what they're doing. Yes, you can look at me from the eyeball test and say, Saquon Barkley special. They can't do what he does, except when you pull up the numbers. And when you pull up the numbers, they do exactly what he does in terms of running the football effectively. And so, again, what I would say to you is Saquon Barkley is that stud. He's spectacular. Stephen but a. the flip side is, is that when you don't have to be. To run the football effectively, Todd, which Gurley and Ezekiel Elliott showed you. When Todd Gurley you. didn't have a line, when Todd Gurley, when they were stacking the box against Tag Todd Gurley, I was sitting here arguing people, he's actually better than Ezekiel Elliott. He just doesn't, you know, these are other factors. Saquon Barkley doesn't have a line, and he's still getting it done. He's unlike anything we've ever my seen. Last, my last guy, I won't say anything ever seen. Barry Sanders. No, 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 but he's says. Barry Sanders with 20 pounds of but, muscle. But, but and I guess faster. What I, well, and faster. I guess what I'm saying to you is when I look at an Ezekiel Elliott, I see a guy that's out last year. Cowboys don't know what to do with themselves. He's balling his rookie year. Cowboys go to 13-3. and three. He's balling this year. 1,262 yards rushing, by the way. Mm -hmm. This year, what the Dallas Cowboys doing? They've won five straight. I'm sorry. I'm just not going to – again, talent-wise, blind. But I'm talking about in terms of effectiveness, running, hitting the gaps, not dancing around, not tap dancing. Ezekiel Elliott is that from dude. A, from a running back perspective, he's done the most with less yeah. this year okay. as a running back. Okay. All right, Victor, good to see you. Thank you. Always a pleasure, guys. All right.